Hello everyone. How's everyone doing? I hope everything is going wonderful. Let me go to the astrology. Moon is in Sagittarius. Sun in Leo. Mercury in Virgo. Leo's in Venus. Showing the ones you love attention. Taurus is in Jupiter. Pisces in Saturn. Uranus, Taurus, Pisces and Neptune. Not Pisces and Neptune. <laughs> Pluto, Capricorn. Okay, of course we have the North Node. It's just recently changed to Aries. All right. I'd like to do a full moon reading. Right now it's the first quarter moon, but we have the full moon. I'm already feeling it just, I got this download on my walk today to do a reading for the full moon in Aquarius because this month um, or in August, we have two full moons. Um, one in Aquarius and one in Pisces. And of course the new moon in Leo. But the second one is a blue moon. So it's once in a blue moon. Um, there's some yods. The energy is expansive. More expansive than you usual more room for miracles to come through the lion's gate portal the 8 8 and the 8 8 always reminds me of our own energetic field which comes up from the heart and flows goes around we're recycling energy our thoughts become things and it starts in our heart. But a lot of times we start thinking about and, and pushing our heart down. My voice kind of starts to crack. But you want, you want to really live your truth um, and allow anything to be possible. To really believe in the impossible. To just believe in your dreams. Believe in what you love and all its forms. Aquarius is about humanity and its truth. So it's, since everything starts with you, it's being true to yourself, being honest. Who am I? Am I making this choice, this version of myself who I know and love to be making choices? So this full moon is really going to illuminate who you are who other people are in your life, the roles that they're playing. And it's your uh, job to say, this is my truth or it's not. Like, you know, and that's every day, but it's really going to be illuminated for the full moon, right? Because full moons light up the situation and it's a reflection of the sun and in Leo it's going to be bright <laughs> Leo energy is big right it's the king of the jungle it's lion the lion I love Leo energy happy happy and yang energy. Yang is masculine energy, which means putting things in action. Being happy, happy. It's important to allow your heart, your mind, excuse me, your mind to have the thought come through and say, yes, this is what I want. This is who I am. This is my truth. Because humanity is, um, it starts with us. 
first off is Aquarius is a sign like a tag word for um, the vibration of Aquarius and the age of Aquarius is humanity so how are you treating yourself who are you what is your truth how do you move through the world how are you in this unified field are you giving what are you giving up because we're always giving but in what uh, capacity in what, how mm, yeah it, it's what are you giving joy peace and it's uh, um, reminds me of the master number 22 what are you building upon you're building upon your truths but like some of these blocks are flying away if you neglect something a part of your truth I don't think it leaves you but you can push it away it can be not infrastructured the infrastructure is um, wobbly <laughs> you because you're not living your truth right so you're gonna go through life and it's much easier when you're living your truth every we know that right so but I'm seeing also between worlds and there's always we're human <laughs> so there's gonna be in some way that we're not living our truth and this full moon is to help you see that in you how you're treating yourself how you're loving yourself where you're not loving yourself where you where you could be better where you can grow into a more beautiful you have more peace right because the message in the bottle that is the message from your higher self your guides the angels the energy all around us that is connected to higher beings higher vibrations higher knowledge allowing that to come when you're really in alignment with who you truly are you can hear them a lot easier the loyal heart if you're being loyal to yourself when you're loyal to yourself you're loyal to to everyone right to your truth to your mate your partner so it's a time to think of it to think about this and to end cycles round and round that no longer serve you that you don't want to be you don't want to be that person you don't want to make decisions as that person you're no longer that person there's it's reminding me of um, those really beautiful uh, films where they well there's a, a certain filmmaker and they make these beautiful films and they asked a couple an older couple you know about how their relationship and their life and how it is being together for 40 or 50 years and they said you know the other person and myself are always changing always growing um, sometimes maybe you have a there sometimes people don't but in healthy good relationships you're you're growing you're changing you're realizing certain aspects of yourself you're taking um, what you love and giving the, the rest away that is not you and returning it to love so you say that's not me that's that's for the ethers <laughs> that's for that's for somebody else that's to be clear and transmuted into love so um, I want to um, 
read from the Sea Oracle. And let's just see what they say. It's just such beautiful cards. Ah, uh, may you see the sublime in every day. And I love how the light is coming in through the clouds. When we're not being true to ourselves in some aspect, it gets cloudy. It's like being in a lake, you can't see. But when you give yourself time, meditation, self-care, just quiet yourself, go fishing, the light starts to be seen. Everything starts to get clear. And I, you, you open yourself up to shine. Because it's like, ah, the aha moment, the light bulb, the light comes in. Accept. May you receive what is as it comes. May you receive what is as it comes. The particles in the water, they don't always uh, have, mm, it's different, right? You could be receiving something that you wanted to be something else. But what you're receiving is on the pathway to the greatness you're calling in. A lot of times, I've learned this in my age. I said, I wanted this, but I wanted to be wise enough to, and I'll just say this, I wanted this, um, but I wanted to be wise enough to handle it in a way that was respectable to myself, but for others. So that when I walk through the world, I feel good about myself. I knew there was parts of me that I didn't understand yet, the healing, part of growing up, and just my mentality of not knowing certain things. And in the spiritual world, in the real world, we call it uh, as well, you know, just being naive. So I went through a lot of hard lessons, but everything I was calling in, I, something would come in and I'd say, why can't it just be easy? But as they say, it's you ask for something and you're giving the ingredients to create what it is that you're asking for. So on my journey, I was giving the ingredients and the lessons, the jobs, the things that, you know, I kind of grumbled along until I realized that, oh no, this is teaching me something. I asked for more abundance and I learned how to get up and clean my room every day and make my bed every day. And that in itself showed me the vibration of taking care of my things, keeping them tidy and clean, and it's just a, a higher vibration of more wealth. And that doesn't have to be for everybody because I still like a, a, a big fluffy down comforter, all white, you know, like just kind of, anyways to accept <laughs> what is, like a, com a comfy white comfort always looks good. Like you just get out of bed, it always looks good. It's fine, it's fine. Um, accept what's coming, accept what is right now as it comes, right? Because it's a blessing. You've a actually ax asked for this it's just coming away that you don't recognize or that you would like it to be kinder or 
in another form. And it is leading you to your wish come true, to your dream of what you are asking for, but in a much grander, a better way, a, a bigger, like a, a happier dream. Heard, may your brave call be carried on the wind. The waves, our emotions, the wave of vibration and energy is, our heart is always being heard. It's always, when you love someone, no matter where they are in the world, you can feel and know what's going on. When there's a connection of love, it's like um, something in the ethers, this, the electricity of you both connects you in beautiful ways, telepathy and you just, uh, what is it when you can see, like you have picture, it's not, you can hear a clear audience. I was in meditation yesterday and I heard someone whistle, it was so loud and clear and I still, I'm like, is that my neighbor? But it, it got me to where I was going. It was like, oh, okay, it's time. Um, I don't know what that has to do with <laughs> someone you love, but um, maybe someone you love just whistled. Heard. Your love is heard. The light in you is heard. So back to full moon in Aquarius, when you're true to yourself, when your love is shining forth, you're electric and you really magnetize your dreams to you in uh, a much easier way, a miraculous way, right? It's like how Joe Dispenza says, you know, when you really get in the brain, uh, heart brain coherence, miracles happen. When you're full of gratitude, miracles happen because you're just in that state of love and, and giving of love. And so everything that you love or, or that is connected to that vibration that is close to you uh, or has a, a easy path is just, it just magnetizes itself to you. So, um, free. May your soul sing freely. I love to sing. That I do. And this seagull is the, the reflection. We can see our reflection um, well, in a mirror, right? And you can see your reflection in the world and other people. It's just in how you see things, how you're looking, what you're looking for, what you're paying attention to, right? We have free will of thought. So um, how you focus your attention, it's up to you. It's a free world. Free ride, take it easy, decide. May you navigate with purpose. And what I heard is, may it be for the highest good of all. Decide, may you navigate with purpose. What is your, what grounds you when you say, this is my purpose? I hear a lot of people say, I don't know my purpose. But what, so the next question is, 
to ask yourself is what do I love like some people love mechanics and engineering uh, putting things together and they could spend hours doing that some people <laughs> they do that with Legos it doesn't look like Legos I saw like a d documentary of this guy I mean he got a whole career putting Legos together some people raise chickens or birds and they see the spirit in that and they hold that close to them it is they they find joy have you ever hugged a chicken it's pretty fulfilling so decide so i'm going to um leave it there i'll probably do a sagittarius reading because uh, it's the moon in sagittarius and maybe a virgo i was called to do a virgo 